DNA drops that are just changing people's lives every single day. The testimonies that come pouring in are amazing, but sometimes it's really cool to know what is behind these amazing drops. And we are so fortunate to have Mary Esther Gilbert as part of our awesome APL Go family. She is a nutritional healing, preventative health, and anti-aging specialist. 40 plus years in the holistic space. Mary Esther, welcome to our call tonight where we are going to talk about the drop called ALT. Thanks. I'm so happy to be here, Tina, with you. And it was so great seeing you last week. You have the best energy, and I know that's hard to feel through the computer, but if you haven't given Mary Esther Gilbert a hug yet, you need to make sure to be in the next place she's going to be because her energy is just infectious. Thank you. So tonight we're talking about ALT. And I know ALT, uh, the, one of the main benefits of ALT is that it is defense against environmental factors. Can you tell us, based on your experience in the holistic field, what does that encompass? What does that mean? Well, you know, uh, this particular formulation has a lot to do with uh, improving, improving the cellular um, immune system functioning and its ability to respond to all these different allergens and pollutants that we inhale and affect the respiratory system and uh, also how it responds to all these different inflammatory responses that invade our bodies like the foreign microorganisms, all these foreign particles and all these different pollutants and synthetic chemicals. So uh, our body is up against quite a bit, you know, and so uh, I'm glad that the APL company has put together a great formulation that has all these botanicals that really address the functioning of all these different cells in the body. So you said that supports immune response. What ingredients are in these DNA drops that uh, support immunity? In every single one of the botanicals, uh, they have an array of nutrient factors called the phytonutrients or phytochemicals, these different plant compounds that really address how to uh, how the body responds to them that is it will read the dna of the plants and insert segments of their plant dna into our own dna where we have those segments in common because we have a lot in common with the plant kingdom wow so on that same note i know we have a list of i think there's 14 13 or 14 ingredients in ALT, but I'd love to go over just some of them specifically with you. The first one that we hear so much about is astragalus. Could you share with us what exactly that is and what the benefits of that are? Well, heck yeah. Uh, Can I share the screen for a moment and then I'll give it back to you? Absolutely. Okay, I wanna show you all something. Hi, everybody. (laughs) Okay, so can you see this document? Yes. All right. So this is what it looks like. Uh, Let me enlarge it slightly in case uh, anybody needs me to enlarge it. So this is what the plant looks like, the Astragalus membranaceus. That's the uh, the common Latin term that all scientists in the world recognize who have studied these botanicals. And this is what it looks like uh, when you slice the root up. It has these wonderful aromatic sticks. I used to keep these on hand for my clients. And so uh, I used to grow a lot of the different botanicals that I work with. So I would just dry them and bottle them and keep them in my pantry so that when a client had specific uh, issues, I would put together all these different botanicals. And the astragalus was one of the main ones to help inhibit the inflammatory enzyme called cyclooxygenase 2 and all these other inflammatory proteins like the reactive oxygen species, which is ROS. And all of these different um, reactive proteins are present whenever there's something wrong in the body, when there's injury or inflammation uh, or anything that the body needs to repair. So the astragalus is really great to inhibit a lot of these uh, these uh, inflammatory proteins that the body has to make when there's an injury or when there's something wrong. Wow, very cool. <laughs> and then also I wanted to show just a couple of pictures. I like to show pictures. It's worth a thousand words, right? So, um, so yeah, here's a picture of just a basic DNA, you know, uh, and our base pairs that make up the rungs of the ladder of the DNA. So you can see the thymine and adenine and cytosine and guanine and all the different th- many thousands of configurations that determine a person's characteristics, their state of health, 
uh, and uh, which identifies, you know, what what gender we are and what what uh, our our features are. Everything, right? Everything that's going on in the body, including the repair processes and and all it responds to. So these base pairs are extremely important. So when uh, they get out of alignment or or misaligned or or confused by the damage that happens, then this is what happens when it's trying to uh, replicate the, the cells and duplicate the mother cell. So our cells are constantly turning over, and so they're splitting the DNA in half. Half of it is used as a template, and the other half is, is used as a, substra- a, a very basic foundation for building the new cell. So it copies or transcribes all of this genetic information. And if your immune system is suffering, then some of this some of these processes can go wrong, right? And so if a person has immune system problems, uh, overreactions to inflammation, the, the uh, immune cells are confused themselves, their DNA isn't aligned properly. So all of these nutrients and phytonutrient factors in, uh, that are in the botanicals in the ALT formula are actually helping to make sure that this transcription process uh, occurs properly so that our immune system functions properly and recognizes an, uh, an allergen or something that is invasive in order to mobilize all the immune cells to destroy it. Did everybody follow that? <laughs> oh yeah, sure, completely. Okay, you're so great. We're just going to rely on you for all this kind of knowledge. That was just incredible. It explained actually a couple of things. Now we're talking about inflammation. So when it comes to inflammation, and people think of allergies and allergens in the air, so allergens actually create the inflammation. Is that correct? Yes. If it does not belong in the body and the DNA can recognize it, the immune cells uh, do recognize that it doesn't belong in the body, then it will mobilize all these different forces. There's so many different kinds of um, immune cells, you know, that do different jobs. In fact, if I could share again, (laughs) I don't want to take up all the screen time with this document that I always like to prepare for everyone. All right, so let me share really quickly, and I need to make it smaller. Hopefully you can read um everything in this chart here but what i wanted to point out was the different kinds of of uh immune cells in the body that we have to manufacture and the only way we we can ensure that they are functioning properly is to take in the right nutrient compounds so the alt botanicals go a long way toward helping to maintain these different kinds of immune cells that are generated in the bone marrow and also in the lymph nodes so uh, there's two places where the white blood cells will come in, uh, will be manufactured and then distributed throughout the body when needed. And they're not always patrolling the body, uh, but it's the detection mechanisms through the hormonal system and the immune, uh, the, uh, the nervous system that will actually um, mobilize and alert all these different immune cells. So they're waiting. You know, some of them are, are normally patrolling the whole entire system via the circulatory system, and some are just waiting to be told to come in, Right. So these are the different uh, types of cells that we have to maintain, uh, and that's the macrophages. And what they do is they have various targets. They're pretty general. Uh, They eat up, you know, what doesn't belong in the body. They just disassemble everything so that the body can eliminate them. Then you've got the neutrophils, uh, which handle the bacteria and the fungi. Um, And so, and also, by the way, the phytochemical compounds in these botanicals also assist these uh, these immune cells to do these kinds of jobs. So then we've got the eosinophils, that, and they work on the parasites and the various allergic tissues. So you've got inflammatory tissues from something that landed in the nose, in the lungs, you know, uh, in, in other areas in the body as well. So they will go out and, and take a look at what's going on and disassemble them you know, or destroy them, whatever the job they must do to get rid of it. And then also we've got the basophils, and they also address various uh, allergic tissues. And we have the mast cells, which uh, address various allergic tissues, the mast cell, excuse me, uh, uh, the parasites and various allergic tissues. And we have the T cells. People have normally, when they think of immune cells, they recall, you know, a lot of of, uh, information out there on the lymphocytes, also known as T cells. And so they work on bacteria, you know, and they're very cytotoxic or they they destroy uh, different tumors. They identify cells that are abnormal and are starting to replicate wrong, so then they address that. So they're called the killer cells, you know, um, and also they they look at all these different viruses that we we get and, uh, you know, how tumors are starting to form. So they have a huge job, I think more so than any other one of our, our, T, of our uh, 
immune cells. So then we have the monocytes and they do various jobs too. You know, they're kind of a jack of all trades kind of cell. And then we have the natural killer cells and those are really powerful for destroying viruses and tumors. So we do have to um, maintain those, the DNA of those cells. So what's great about the ALT is all the compounds and all those botanicals have been shown to help the immune cells do their job. That is incredible. I know um, in Chinese medicine, they use an ingredient called the skull cap when it comes to sinuses. I know when we think of allergy, I immediately think of my whole head of sinuses and ears and throat and nose and all of it combined. Can you talk a little bit about that? Oh, the skull cap is, is one of the botanicals. A lot of the botanicals in this formulation, they pretty much do the same thing, but in different ways because they have different phytochemicals in them. So when they act together in synergy, there's no way any kind of um, you know, immune problem could occur in the cell. They're just getting beat up and uh, these foreign particles are getting eaten up and dissipated and everything. And so the skull cap is pretty good about doing that too. Great. And so would you say ALT then is more of a seasonal drop or if people that suffer with allergies, should they take it all year round? I think that uh, the immune system needs maintenance all the time, you know, and so uh, the more often you put something in your body that will address and, and improve the immune system, then absolutely, I don't see why they, someone would, would just take them seasonally because if you experience something uh, seasonally only, then that tells you that your immune system is getting a lot of help in the other other seasons, like in the summer, you know, where the higher temperatures help uh, inactivate a lot of these these uh, problems, and the immune system is not as active because it doesn't have to be. The body temperatures are a little bit elevated. You're sweating more, so you're you're just your whole circulatory system is more active. So you're able to get rid of a lot of these uh, you know potential allergens. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, it's so important to maintain that all the time so that you don't have the problem when allergy season does come around or flu season does come around. And do you recommend taking it in the morning, in the evening, both? What, what do you recommend? You know, uh, it depends because the body will do its most healing work in the, in the nighttime when you're sleeping. But it's also needed in the morning when you first wake up because your immune system kind of uh, relaxes and, and uh, doesn't have as much to do when you're sleeping because your circulatory system slows down and a lot of the immune process and the repair process are taking place. So it's more of a relaxed state. But when you wake up and you get up and your, your blood starts pumping and you start breathing, you know, uh, harder and, and you're encountered with a lot of uh, stimulation and stress kind of thing. So that's uh, important, too. You have to somehow have something in your body to counter all of that stress and improve uh, the immune system function that way. So it doesn't really matter. I mean, uh, these nutrients will work in the body one way or another when it's needed and especially when it's needed the most. Excellent. Now, we're talking about allergens because ALT is the drop of the, of the month, but we have a lot of people in general with many of our drops that say they have an allergy to one of the ingredients in one of our drops, and yet they take the drop but don't have an allergic reaction to it. Could you tell us why that, why that could be? When we have a concentration of the plant instructions in the DNA of the plant, it's not going to have the same effect as the whole entire plant. And if you're not taking in organic foods, then you have the added inflammatory response of the of the pesticides and other pollutants that the plant has been subjected to. So that's one um, one thing. But another thing is just when you are not taking enough of the plant kingdom, then you're not going to have an array of all those phytochemicals and, and nutri other nutrient factors that are in uh, that are in the drops. So when you take in the whole plant, then you have all these other um, uh, potentially stimulating factors in the plant. When, when you have the drugs, you have the DNA, you know, and the phytochemicals and those things that, that counter any inflammatory or allergic reaction. So, you know, it's really down to the point where you have more of the, the fixing components in the DNA in the ALT versus other inflammatory, you know, potential 
fluids or other phytochemicals that might be involved in the plant. So it depends. It depends on what your body responds to. Great. We have a couple of pretty popular ingredients that most people have heard of in this one particular drop. Could you talk a little bit about the pine nut and the mangosteen that are part of the ALT drop? Oh, yeah. Did they put the pine nut back into the formulation? I believe oh, great. That. Excellent. Fantastic. I didn't realize that. Okay, so yeah, let me tell you a little bit about the pine nut. <laughs> um, so it's been known, and I'm quoting a lot of the scientific data that I found in compiling my book. So know that everything that I assert here is solidly backed by scientific research and uh, peer-reviewed studies, which are the most credible way to examine something. So uh, the pine nut's been found to uh, address anything like stomach ulcers, anything having to do with digestive problems, to reduce inflammation of the tissues or repair the tissues in the stomach and also in the intestines. Also, uh, it's been shown to address anemia because of the, um, the minerals that are in the pine nut itself. And the, uh, also has been shown that the type of fatty acid that is in the pine nut, now they contain omega-3 fatty acids, and those are very hard to come by. There's not very many foods that are dominant in the omega-3s, yet they've been found to uh, help maintain healthy blood vessels, the healthy and pliability, health and pliability of the blood vessels, and increase a, a circulatory system because they're, uh, it eliminates the, a lot of the obstructions. Um, also, the duodenum, anything having to do, like once you swallow the food, it goes out of your stomach into the duodenum before it enters the small intestine. So uh, a lot of times things get inflamed and stuck there in that curvature of the du duodenum. And also it's been shown to uh, improve the immune system to the point where uh, it will counter the effects of tuberculosis. So as far as the polyunsaturated fatty acids, the omega-3s, like the linoleic fatty acid, so this type of fat will, um, will just balance your body's way of regulating its, its fat metabolism. And so it has a weight regulating effect, maintaining the healthy body fat uh, mass index. So I'll show you a chart right now that I think people always uh, enjoy seeing because they can tell where they are in their weight and what their uh, health weight is. So I'll show you that in a second. But uh, it's also been found to lower the, the, the undesirable low-density lipoprotein cholesterol. Uh, it just improves the overall blood comp composition. It does a cleansing action. Um, and it helps reduce gallstones because the gallbladder is the one that uh, actually digests fat. So people, if they eat the wrong fats or an overabundance of fat in their diet, then they will form the gallstones, which are extremely painful. And uh, so these have been shown to help dissolve the gallstones. Um, it's also been shown to normalize the nervous system and the cardiovascular system, the digestive system, as I mentioned, and also liver functions because that has a lot to do with how the body stores fat uh, and the urinary system with the rot water regulation through the kidneys. So the kidneys are the ones that regulate water. And if your blood is too thick, your kidneys are going to have a problem uh, with uh, filtering out, you know, the, uh, the urine and, and cleansing the blood kind of thing. So stay hydrated, you know, um, but also it affects how the immune system is going to work because if, if your blood is too thick and if you're dehydrated, then you're going to undergo uh, a lot of inflammatory responses, with, which, uh, you know, affects the immune system. It's all such a cascade effect. It all works together, you know, and it's very simple. All we have to do is put the right nutrients in our body, stay hydrated, you know, manage our stress, stress and, and exercise, get a lot of sleep you know, that kind of thing. It all comes together. It just works so beautifully. So um, a couple more things on the pine nut. Uh, the essential amino acids that are in the the, uh, the pine nut, it's not a complete protein like an animal-derived protein, but it has a lot of the uh, essential amino acids that help the body build messenger proteins, which are the uh, help the immune system and the nervous system and the hormonal system work together to, uh, to send messages out to the entire body to see what needs to be done, what needs to be rebuilt, what needs to be protected, you know, all these different responses, all these enzymes and immune complexes. <laughs> so, you know, you got me started on the pine nut. It's one of my very favorite types of omega-3 foods. <laughs> um, and a couple more things. It has vitamin E complexes. Not very many foods have all the different decothrols that a whole food would have. So anytime you have a, an omega-3 or other polyunsaturated fat, 
a fatty acid in a food, then it's going to automatically have enough vitamin E. So that's going to also improve the oxygen flow throughout the system to deliver the immune cells to prevent a lot of these problems that the ALT helps to, uh, to maintain. I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> That is excellent information. I love every second of it. Keep going. I, I do want to hear about the mango steam. People have heard uh, there's been, you know, products that revolve around just the mango steam itself. What can you tell us about that ingredient? Okay. Can I just add one more thing about the weight? Of course. Okay. This is really important, and, and it has it, it's tied in with the immune system because when a person is overweight, then they're going to store more toxins, and that's going to affect the immune system too, and also create a lot of inflammatory uh, responses, right? All right, so let me share really quickly. <laughs> so I just want I came across this wonderful chart, and uh, I don't want anyone out there to feel guilty because uh, body fat is so easy to burn off. All you have to do is go walking, go swimming, ride a bicycle do some deep breathing exercises, you know, anything that gets the heart rate going for a sustained amount of time will actually help you burn body fat. And uh, the rest of it, the body takes care of because it needs fats in the body to, um, to do all kinds of different work, like make hormones, you know, 10,000s of them. And so, but I just wanted to show everybody this height and weight chart. So if you are um, underweight, then you're going to be, you're going to fall into this category, you know, a certain height versus a certain weight. And then if you're health, if you uh, if you have a healthy body weight, you'll fall in the green zone. If you're overweight, the yellowish green zone. And if you're obese, then the orange zone and so on and so on. Extremely obese would be the, the red zone. So this is uh, something that you might want to keep in mind. And it's not only about how much you weigh on the scale. Uh, so your body composition may have uh, a, a great deal of muscle mass. You know, if you do a lot of physical labor, or if you go to the gym, then you're going to have a lot more body weight because muscle weighs more than fat. But the more fat a person has, the more likely they're going to have with their immune system problems. So ALT comes in handy for that as well. Wow, great. So I do have a question about stimulants. Now, we, we know our products don't have stimulants. They don't give you that over-the-edge you know, rush of energy like an energy drink or something not great for your body, but they do have things like Garcinia Cambogia and in this particular drop, green tea. But can you talk about why it's not the same as if you're, you know, putting green tea in your, your Starbucks drink is different than the green tea and the Garcinia Cambogia like that we use here at APL Go? Yes. Okay. That's great. I love that question, Tina. So green tea, if you make yourself a cup of green tea, there's varying degrees of how strong it's going to be. It's actually half as strong as a cup of black tea in the same amount. And so, uh, and then black tea, uh, when, you, when you double that, it's going to have the same amount uh, of caffeine as in coffee. So you gradually, you know, go to stronger and stronger, stronger cup of caffeine when you, uh, depending on how strong you make the, the brew, right? But in the drops, you're getting the DNA of the plant, the instructions of how to manufacture the different, uh, you know, different uh, aspects of your own cells. So we're getting the genetic instructions that our, our genetic instructions can copy whenever it's needed. So it can splice in and out, you know, other segments of DNA that we have in common with those plants that will help uh, actually improve your, your energy. So the energy cycle in the body is completely different than if you drink a caffeine, a high caffeine drink. The high caffeine drink will stimulate the nervous system temporarily, and it'll actually make your nervous system respond as if there's an emergency situation. So it goes into haywire mode, you know, so that's what makes you more alert. It's like this uh, uh, danger response reaction <laughs> kind of thing. So um, that's not the same as having all these diff uh, different plant chemicals that are in the green tea plant that are in the drops. And uh, so those phytochemicals will help regulate uh, the nervous system as well. So yes, it will it will um, improve the nerve to nerve cell transmission in the body throughout the whole nervous system and make you more alert that way without the caffeine. That is so fantastic. That may be the best answer I've heard. So one last question for you. We know that ALT is great for the microvascular system. Can you talk a little bit about what is the microvascular system and how is it supported through this drop? Yes. Uh, did you still want me to go over the mangosteen after this? Yes, absolutely. Okay. okay, so 
So I'm sorry, give me your question again. <laughs> so the microvascular system, what is it oh, yes. and how does ALT support it? Okay, so um, that's all of your blood vessels from the largest aorta down to the tiniest capillary. You know, we've got miles and miles of blood systems, uh, blood vessels that get smaller and smaller. Uh, so even at the tiniest capillary, if there is damage, then the nervous system sends a signal to your brain in the form of pain. So you're going to feel it. You know, if you cut your finger, uh, you're damaging thousands of uh, blood vessels, you know, at that end of the fingertip, right? And you're going to feel the pain. So uh, that sends the immune forces in to do the repair work and all of that. Um, but so to maintain the microvascular system, there's a lot of things we have to do. We have to take in the right types of fats. And since the, those cells are made out of protein, we have to take in the right dietary proteins, animal-derived proteins, again, from healthy animals, uh, you know, even the lower-fat uh, cheeses and things like that. Those all contain all the eight essential amino acids. We need to build healthy blood vessels. We also need the, uh, the right types of fats, animal fats and plant fats, especially the omega-3s in the right uh, balance will help build uh, pliable and flexible blood vessels. So if you bruise easily, that means you need to improve your, your protein and your fat intake as far as the quality so that your uh, blood vessels will, will be rebuilt properly. And if you exercise, then that increases the blood flow, increases your heart rate, and it pushes the blood at a stronger force throughout the whole system, does a cleansing action, but it also delivers oxygen. But it also, with uh, the body's amazing way that it responds to exercise, it will uh, improve the pliability and flexibility of those blood vessels so that it can take that kind of, of uh, force the next time you work out. So working out consistently, it, however gentle, however powerfully you want to do this, uh, your body will respond accordingly and maintain healthy blood vessels. You don't have to be a bodybuilder, you know, or power lifter at the gym, monster workout kind of thing. But if you uh, walk and stretch, you know, uh, it depends on your age, of course, it's always age appropriate. But if you uh, are consistent, then your, your blood vessels will maintain their strength and pliability. So that's not likely to be damaged. And that's the most important thing. You don't want blood clots forming in there and breaking loose and clogging somewhere that causes strokes and heart, heart attacks kind of thing. So wow. yeah, it's important. That is very important. And this is great information because I think a lot of people, even people who've been in the company for a little while now, been on the product for a little while, they think alt and allergy like goes hand in hand. And people are like, well, I don't have allergy um, issues. This is not a drop for me, but clearly this is a drop for everybody. It's so important. Can you talk a, about some more benefits of this drop? And then, yes, we want to hear about the mango steam. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's, uh, I think I'll, sh I'll share again. I've been making uh, documents for these calls lately, and I've been posting them on my website. You probably have heard about that, yeah. but, um, but yeah, I mean, I find that if you have a visual, it just makes so much more sense. You know, I can talk till I'm blue in the face to try to describe all of this, but there's no way I can do it justice. I know what it looks like in my mind, but it may not come out that way so that people can understand what I'm thinking, you know. So uh, that's love what I've been love doing. Love the visual. <laughs> okay, so, um, so let me go ahead and show you this chart I'm going to share again. And some of you have, may have seen this. Uh, I may have presented this before in another in another uh, uh, call, but it's definitely in one of my slideshows. And I just wanted to point that out to get, again, because why should you take alt? When should you take alt? You know, why should you take something that that people think it's only for allergies? Well, it's not only for allergies. Uh, in my book, I have outlined specifically all of the different things that every botanical has been shown to, um, to contain that help not just the immune system, but every single body system. So um, the immune system particularly and the, uh, the hormonal system and the digestive system are the strong points in the ALT formulation. So as you can see, uh, this scientist has taken the genome, the flattened out DNA, and compared it to uh, from human to plant DNA. So as you can see uh, in red are the common uh, gene sequences that are in pl the plant and 
in our DNA. And this in particular is one of the uh, 12 enzymes that both plant and animal cells uh, produce under so, so that they can, you know, just uh, convert uh, sugar and oxygen into water and carbon dioxide that during the cell respiration process or how the body produces energy, in other words. So as you can see, this particular cytochrome C oxidase subunit 6B, scientists love to name all of these many thousands of compounds. Uh, so you can see that how much in common we have. Now in our own uh, cytochrome, if, if we have any damage in any of the, the sequences in red, then our DNA knows that it can take those sequences out of this particular plant and uh, just splice it right in. They do the exact same thing. That's how close the human body is to the plant kingdom. We have so much in common with the plant kingdom. So eat your fruits and vegetables and take your drops. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. Um, uh, let's see, I think there was a, a segment I put in here for, I mean, you can look at these charts. I just, I love the human body. It's just so amazing. And you can see in this in this uh, photograph, this uh, graphic, that all these different green nodes here are the are the other circulatory system, the lymph systems. So they're in the armpits. Everywhere you sweat, that's where the lymph nodes are located, so that they have a cleansing uh, microcirculatory system where uh, things enter and are detoxified and cleansed and and released throughout the body and to, to be eliminated. So, uh, and all these different glands, like the thymus glands, you know, even the tonsils, uh, even the small intestine, you know, has all these different nodes inside there. So your body's detoxing all the time and trying to eliminate uh, all these de all these invasive um, particles or microorganisms that commonly invade the body. Normally, our immune system will just take care of it quickly, uh, especially if you're nourished properly. Okay, so uh, does that answer the question about the microvascular? It does. Okay. All right. And I wanted to also go back to the mangosteen, right? Or yes. The mangosteen. Okay. Yeah, let's go here. I have to do a search on this 535-page book. <laughs> no problem. So I'm going through all the charts and whatnot. Okay, here we go. All right, um, I'll just go ahead and share this, I guess. This wonderful queen of fruits, it's called uh, All Throughout Asia, is pretty remarkable. It has the very unique compounds known as the xanthones. It's a huge classification of different types of molecular configurations that uh, has, have been studied by science for over 100 years. Going back in the scientific literature, you'll find studies that were done 100 years ago by Western you know, science. Uh, but as far as being used uh, by the indigenous people throughout Asia, it's very well known. That's why it's called the queen of fruits. And one of the shamans said that it will fix anything from here to here. And he points down to the... Um, the reproductive organs, right? So anything from here to here. <laughs> so, and the science actually does confirm that. Uh, so this is a pretty remarkable plant. I really love it. It's an anti-inflammatory. It will go through and detoxify and, and bind to toxic chemicals so that the body can eliminate them safely instead of being stuck in the fatty tissues, which also means being stuck in the nervous system. The nerve cell coatings are made out of fatty acids. So uh, the synthetics bind to those types of, of fats in the body and destroy the cells. So, uh, you know, it's a neurodegenerative, you know, nightmare coming on if uh, you're eating the wrong fats or if your body is exposed to a lot of synthetic chemicals. So if you're using products that have the toxic synthetic chemicals or cosmetics or any kind of body care uh, products, then those will be retained in the fatty tissues as well and start reducing the functionality of all of your cells in your body. So the mangosteen is a super, super um, hero for that. And it's also been shown both in, in the Petri dish, you know, in vitro, and also on human subjects and animal subjects in vivo to destroy uh, the cancer cells that start forming due to the immune system going haywire and not recognizing that cells are starting to replicate incorrectly. So you've got these distortions, you know, in the DNA that are starting to replicate. So the immune system's job is to recognize that and destroy those. But the mangosteen is very, very good for also helping to uh, help the immune system identify, you know, the wrong molecules and start destroying those, those uh, pre-tumor cells. 
Um, Anti-inflammatory, you know, the COX-2 inhibitors, those are, are major inflammatory reactions that the body responds to when there's something wrong in the body. And um, maintains bl uh, blood pressure, maintains healthy blood vessels because of the essential oils that are in the rind uh, of the, the fruit itself. And so, um, like I said, anti-inflammatory. And it, it dissolves kidney stones. And I am personal witness to that twice. I have had uh, a friend a couple of friends who have had, actually, now it's three. I just re remember there's three people that had very, very painful kidney stones, including my martial arts instructor. I mean, he can take a lot of pain. He's got multiple black belts and multiple disciplines, and I know he can take a lot of pain. But when he got kidney stones, um, he was doubled over and was crying like a baby. You know, that's how painful they are. So uh, I had to take each friend uh, to the hospital because, you know, what do you do? You're, they're doubling over in pain. They're in the hospital. But when I had them take uh, a mangosteen formulation, it dissolved those kidney stones within minutes, 30 minutes to an hour. And so, um, and they were able to pass the kidney stones safely. Once they get small enough, you can pass them through the urine. So uh, that's very famous. Uh, this, the science is very clear on how the mangosteen is able to do that also. Wow, that's so, yeah. so powerful. It is. It's amazing. Well, as always, such a pleasure chatting with you. Even just for this short period of time, I could talk to you all day about this. Um, even just this one drop. Every time I hear you talk about a different drop, I think, well, now I got to take that one. So I think everybody feels the same way. You're so cherished here. Your knowledge is, is mind-blowing to so many of us, and we're so grateful that you share it with us. So team, as you know, in your back offices, the alt is now buy to get to free. It has already been started and you can order that today and through the rest of the week. And Mary Esther, thank you so much. You're so gracious for coming on here with us every month and educating us on these awesome drops. And we're super grateful. Well, I am too. It's an opportunity for me to share such you know, life-saving knowledge and to be able to uh, spread the word of true health <laughs> and get our population healthy. So everyone here has a very special product and uh, people will, will respect you and will be inspired by you when they see how it's improved your health. And uh, because I provide the scientific knowledge, then it gives you a lot more credibility, everybody. And so you can go out and share the information as well. And that's why I wrote the book, Tina. I mean, the, the company needed a book like that, a reference manual. So, yeah. Oh, absolutely. We use it daily. I think everyone on this call probably has a copy, but if not, you can find it on Amazon. I highly recommend it. It has been absolutely crucial uh, in building our business with these incredible drops as a knowledge base to enhance the credibility of our, of our products. So thank you, Mary Esther. Have a wonderful evening. We'll see you next month. Thank you so much, Tina. Bye, everybody. Have a great recording stop. Bye. Bye bye. Oh, the recording stopped, but I have a question in the chat, so I'm going to answer it. The name of the book. Oh, I can. Um, oh, 